Hi, I'm JC, the Gospel-Centered Health Coach. Today, I have a very specific mission. I'm speaking to those who are struggling with sugar. Now, you may call it addiction, you may not, but you know it's out of control. And you know it's reached a place where you have tried and failed and tried and failed and you, you kind of don't know what to do. Um, my story is that story. Um, absolutely a sugar addict and absolutely would not have called it that. But I'm now 15 years in recovery and I thought I've done another video on what that story was and I can put that link below. But this video is very specific because when I first started as a health coach, I really believed that those in my same boat that struggle with sugar, if they just did what I did, they'd be fixed. Like it is amazing. It worked. And I obviously have now learned we are all so different and the path for each of us in a faith-based, gospel-centered, even when Christ is involved, the path is different and what resonates with, with you may not with me and vice versa. So what I want to do with this video is in the past 15 years, um, I've still been in this kind of realm studying and I have some recommendations. I have some options and what I want to do as a health coach is like lay them out like a toolbox. Like I'm just laying out a bunch of different tools. I'm not saying go get all of these. I'm saying here is many different options that may be your answer. You pray, you be spirit led, and, and maybe pay attention to what resi resonate, resonates with you. Um, what you think, mm, okay, you can feel it when the Lord goes, look at that one. I'm gonna list them out in the description box below. One, two, three, four. I just, when I was going through my recovery, there weren't a lot of answers. For instance, I was on Pinterest the other day and I was looking through a lot of pins on give up sugar, quit sugar, um, how I did it. And I, I was reading a lot of the articles and a lot of them just said you would go into them and they gave us the advice that all of us already know. Like just do this, 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 and this. Give up soda, just change to healthier sugar or give up sugar, drink more water. I don't, I'm not giving a list of shoulds today because for an addict, as much as we're uncomfortable sometimes with that word, you've, you've done those things. You, you start every Monday with all of that list in your head. Like, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do it today. And it, it didn't matter. That's what the addiction was. I could not, no matter how well I knew and understood what I needed to do to start to change my eating, I, I could not do it. So that's what these recommendations are born out of is, is some helps. Um, um, <clears throat> maybe some things that will help you shift your mind or shift the way you look at things. So the number one thing I've got like, like 11 books spread out on my desk and we're going to look at all of them. But the number one thing that I truly believe is most important. And I have seen this with many people I coach and in my own life. You have to have a good enough why, like a bigger why than just, I need to lose weight. It's a good why, but this is a tough addiction. This is incredibly tough. Any other addiction, um, you know, alcohol, drugs, you know, other substances, um, pornography, things that people struggle with, they can just leave it. Like as they're moving toward healing, you just put it away and never go back there. But with sugar, you have to eat. You still have to eat. You still have to walk back into that arena and, and tangle with that and everyone around you everyone around you is right there doing it, partaking. It is incredibly difficult. So the number one reason there's got to be a big enough why, um, and I don't have time in this video to explain what I mean by that. The number one thing in the description box will be my half an hour video on finding a bigger why. So just check that out. I'll put the link right there and, and start in that place because if you don't have the right motivation, the right why, the right um, thing that's pushing you down this road, we just, we bail, we bail. Like, oh, I'm gonna give it up. No, I'm not. Today's too stressful, life is too hard. This is tough, so we gotta redefine that. So that's number one. Let's get that on the table. Um, and then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna divide it into two sections. The first section is um, ways helpful experts and programs that can help get the body's addiction under control because that's part of it is the physical body gets just as addicted to sugar as it does to opiate, opi 
opioids or cocaine. In fact, the stats are coming back that it's eight times more addictive than cocaine. So there is a bodily part to this, a physical body part to an addiction to sugar that you might need some help with. So this is my first book recommendation. I've, I talked about these in my other sugar addiction video, but I'm just throwing them out there. This, and again, I'll put the links below to both of these. This was my path. And the reason I suggest Kathleen de Mason's books, again, you can check them out, is because she doesn't, she doesn't make you go cold turkey. She goes through several chapters of the science of why you can't stop and why, what's happening in the body that's causing this addiction. The science was the first time someone made me feel like I wasn't crazy and I wasn't a loser and I didn't, you know, I just wasn't weak. She explains all of that and coaches you through a way to eat that slowly calms down the addiction before you ever take out sugar, before you ever do it. She balances the body in a way that um, suddenly one day you just don't need it like you used to. Powerful, powerful stuff. She has other books too, but these were the main two that I have loved and recommended. Again, not for everybody, and that's why I'm recommending many different options. But this, this I love because it's not a just cold turkey, hang on through withdrawal, push past it. She helps you understand what your body is struggling with. Maybe even um, check these out for the science chapters of why your body is having a hard time. Even if you don't do her food program exactly, that's fine too, but this is some powerful stuff for sugar addicts. Okay, another program that many um, clients and friends have done very well on, it wasn't for me, but the, I've seen great success in terms of having a way to shift and focus, um, it, it's Bright Line Eating. And I'll put the link below, it's, it's four bright lines or, or boundaries where you can kind of settle in and it's no sugar, no flour, weighing your food, measuring your food, things like that, where it kind of gives you a framework. And some need this kind of structure. This is too structured for me. I needed more flexibility, but if you're one that really needs some structure to help you walk this out, this is a good thing to check out. Again, Bright Line Eating, Susan Pierce Thompson. Um, I also have talked about this, I think, in other videos. This may be another, I'm gonna start with this one. This may be another path. If the other two don't resonate with you, OBCD Code by Dr. Jason Fung. Awesome, awesome book. And the science here on, on insulin, and which is triggered by all that sugar, all that processed food, just insulin crazy in the body. And he goes into the science behind why and what's happening in your body. He has worked, his work has grown specifically out of his clinic with type two diabetics. So if that is your story. This may be where you want to start instead of the other books. Um, check out Dr. Fung's work. The obesity code is, is really huge right now. It's published in other languages. And, um, and this is his second book, Life in the Fasting Lane. Um, he wrote with two other women and it's a little less science-y. So if you need something a little more um, layman's terms kind of stuff, both of, this is probably my favorite of the two. But again, teaching the science of what's going on in your body. And, and it, I, I think some of these programs, when you understand the physical element behind the addiction, it's not about white knuckle anymore. It's about learning to heal your body and having some wonderful experts that can help you know what you need to do to heal that. Um, another, the last one I'm going to recommend, there's other ones guys, and you can check out my favorites page on my website. I'll leave that link below too. <laughs> I have other books and other programs that I'm not highlighting in this video. So there's even more. So again, if, if you're being prayerful and nothing's really like clicking, try my favorites page. Um, Brittany Williams has created instantloss.com is her website. She's created these two cookbooks. I think there's a third one coming out in December, 2020 on a budget, but her journey was 125 pounds lost. And she did it, she said, I'm not dieting, I'm not counting calories, I'm just gonna eat real food. Real food. I'm gonna give up all processed food. Oh man, I believe in that philosophy. Love these cookbooks. Um, and it's not, you know those cookbooks where they have like 50,000 ingredients that you don't rec recognize and are too expensive? This is not like that. Go read the reviews. Um, I love her stuff and I think she makes it very doable to shift to a new way of eating and it give again, gives you a framework to slowly move away from the processed carbs 
and the sugar and just eat real food like our bodies were created. So absolutely love, this is her first one, Instant Loss Cookbook, and then this is her second. I love them both, they're both fantastic. So can you see what I mean? Just several different programs that if you need someone to hold your hand, like I did, I totally did, I couldn't just stop. I needed some type of program to help guide me through the deep waters of, of moving past the way I was eating and moving to eating a new way, and, and it's tough. It's tough, especially if you've been struggling with this sugar addiction for decades. This was a whole whole new territory for me then. I need, needed help. So those are the beginning recommendations I have. The second area of focus. So once you've kind of found a program or some way of eating that you feel like you're settling in and you can begin to experiment with that. The hard part about sugar is it's incredibly emotional. It is not just the taste on the tongue. It's not just that we like the hit on our tongue. It tastes so good. It tastes good here. Most sugar addicts know what I mean. Like, it's because I had a bad day and I want emotional soul support. Like, I was addicted to it here, not just here. Um, I'm guessing if you've struggled with it, you probably know what I mean. Uh, occasionally, I've had a couple people like, no, it's just the taste. That's fine, that's fine. Then stop where, with what we were just looking at. But if it goes deeper for you, like it did for me, it was my therapy. It was my soul comfort. It was my reward when I'd had a stressful day. You can, you can use these other programs to heal the body's addiction, but what do you do with a soul that is crying out for comfort? And that has been your main com comfort. We have to look at both the body and the soul. We have to shift it, at least I did. Part of my healing was not just getting the body balanced, but getting those deep needs met, understanding how to do it in a new way. How to shift my thoughts that were sending me into the kitchen, my cravings that were coming from a different place, not from a rumbling stomach, but from... <laughs> A troubled soul. I've used that in another video too. So we're going to look at several different options that that help. Um, by the way, so before we leave, oh shoot, I forgot something. Before we leave the physical body um, and trying to heal it that way, you can also, I'm going to put the links below. I have a sugar addiction class, an emotional eating class, um, a roadblocks to healthy eating class, and a faith-based eating class. And, and there's a four course bundle that you can get those fairly inexpensively. I walk you through the sugar addiction um, process and the healing process. So those classes also might provide support in developing a framework of a new way of eating so that you, you just don't feel like, I don't even know where to start. That will be possibly one other um, option. So that will be in the links below. Now we're gonna move into emotional eating and some of those things. This author right here, her name is Barb Raveling. Absolutely love her stuff. Love her stuff. She has a podcast. She is all over Pinterest. She is a very powerful Christian teacher that anchors um, your healing in Christ, in scripture. So this is Freedom from Emotional Eating, and it's a workbook, and it's a Bible study. And I have loved working through some of the ideas and concepts tying um, my food struggles to the Lord and how I can turn it over to him and see it in a different way. Her other book, I loved this tiny little book. You probably can see, oh, maybe it's the bend. I deserve a donut and other lies that make you eat. So good. She breaks it down into different types of eating. Indulgent, here, let me give you, let me, let me give you a table of contents. Boredom eating, careless eating, denial eating, entitlement eating, failure eating, garbage disposal eating. I'm just cleaning everybody's plates off at the end of the day. Um, hopeless eating, all start tomorrow eating. This is so good because what it helps us do is pinpoint some behavioral or, or emotional things, uh, belief systems that we can then take apart and reframe through scripture. Love, love, love. So recommend this one. I've used this one a lot and some of these made it into my emotional eating class because it's so good. Um, here's another one. I cannot recommend enough. It's a 40 day sugar fast by Wendy Speak. So love. I, see, I didn't have this book when I first started. 
I only found it like a year or two ago. I would have given anything because what Wendy does, and she does um, a, a, a group Facebook group every year where women do the 40 day fast together, not women, excuse me, um, anyone who wants to join, 40 day um, fast together and it's Christian based and they pray for each other and support each other and vent about how hard it is. And, and, and the whole book is so wonderful on learning to feast on Christ instead of sugar. Feast on him. You're not just fasting from it. You're not just giving up sugar, going cold turkey. You're specifically turning from the idolatry, turning from looking to food to what only Christ can do. Love this. Can I say enough times how much I love this book? <laughs> love it. Give it a try. In fact, you could do like in combination, one of these programs like for the body side of it, and then some of these other ones, if you're a book reader, and these are all on Kindle and, and they all have websites and you can check out their stuff other ways than just getting the book. I'm a book girl. So good. So good. Okay. The last one um, book I want to highlight is probably my favorite. <laughs> I have lots of favorites. Get this book. Get this book. If you struggle with food as something that you use to feed your soul, food, Jesus, and the battle for satisfaction. And I, I can't say her name very well. Asherita. I don't even know how to say her last name. Can you see it? Sorry, Asherita. <laughs> I can't say enough. I just, again, did not have this when I was beginning my journey out of sugar. Thankfully, the Lord was with me and he was kind and, and taught me the truths that I needed to know. But she nails it. She nails it in so many different way, reasons why we need to, we're looking to food for something it just can't do and how Christ alone can truly fill us. So great. And there's, I think there's a companion journal that goes with that as well. You can look into that or I'll put the link below for that also. Now, two final, two final suggestions. I know this video is long, but it, there was a lot. And we're all different. And so I needed to put enough out there that maybe one of these things is speaking to you. I would also suggest, I'm not going to hold anything up, finding a way to incorporate a 12-step program. Now, people freak out when I say 12-step program because it sounds like I'm calling them an alcoholic or not that that's a bad thing either, right? We all have our addictions. I acted with food just like an alcoholic did with alcohol. I did. And I love the beautiful principles in a 12 step. There's so many Christian based adaptations from those 12 steps from Alcoholics Anonymous. If you're LDS, there's an LDS ad ad adaptation. There's so many different ways you can apply them. So again, I'll leave some um, possibilities in the links below. I know it's gonna be a long description box, but I absolutely incorporated the truths from a 12 step into my recovery. Like I said, this is a hard addiction. This is incredibly hard and it goes incredibly deep. And some of us have struggled with it for so long. We're, we're not messing around. This is tough. And I'm trying to offer all the resources I can to equip you and arm you. My last thing um, that I want to suggest comes from me. It is my eight session online course and it's called Satisfied. Um, finding fullness in Christ instead of food. The reason I developed that online course is because so many people would say to me as I was coaching, like, yes, I know I need to turn to the Lord more than the sugar. I get it. But how? What does that even mean? Like, I go to church and I read my scriptures. Like, I'm already doing the church thing. So I'm, I am a church girl. What does that even mean? How do I rely on Christ instead of that, that Ben and Jerry's that's right there and tastes so good or that cookie dough that I just ate half the bowl and how does someone I can't see meet the needs the way that that does there's such a rush to our tongue to our brain to our soul to, to elevate Christ to the point where he is stronger in our lives than that as strong as that can be it's a journey it is a journey and so I took everything that I learned personally and everything uh, we go deep into New Testament scripture and Old Testament and talk about what that looks like. You can go to the link below for my Satisfied class and check out some previews. The first two sessions, I think, are free and you can watch them. If you go to that main page and scroll all the way down, you can just click on that and watch them for free to see if it's your thing. But hopefully that maybe would provide some support to 
go with the healing of the body. That was a way to heal the soul. All right, that was a lot. I always am open for questions or comments below. I will try to add, answer as I can. Um, I know it's tough, but my last piece of advice would be to take it to the Lord. I know I threw a lot at you, so what is he gonna suggest? Pray about it. He knows what will fit your life the best. What path will fit your personality, the way you roll, the way you think. Um, which of these resources would be the best to help start? And maybe you'll start with one and, and then move on to another at some point so that you're not overwhelmed. It, it just could be a lot. It could look a lot different for all of us. So I would encourage you with all my heart. Number one, remember he is enough. Even with this heart addiction, he's strong enough, he's able, and he knows exactly how the path needs to look for you. It may be slow. It was slow for me. It was probably six pretty messy months at first, and then I got kind of stable after that. And I'll probably do more videos, but I just wanted to offer you love and encouragement that if you're feeling prompted to look into this, do it. Your life will change in ways that I really can't describe and I don't have time to do, but it revolutionized me, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually. I'm a different person by walking this path and I would encourage you to do the same thing. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful.